Hi, and welcome to HUDKing.com, your source for real virtual tours of HUD homes in and around the San Antonio and Houston area. I've been specializing in HUD homes since 1996, and in 2012, I started filming real virtual tours like the one you're about to watch. So connect with me by clicking on one of our social media links, or if you're watching this video on YouTube, click the subscribe button to be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here in Wimberley, Texas. Wimberley is located between San Antonio and Austin, a little bit west or northwest of San Antonio, a little bit southwest of Austin. Beautiful uh, community, beautiful area. We are in the Las Lomas subdivision. We're standing in front of 101 Camino de Roble. That's 101 Camino de Roble. This is a huge four bedroom, three and a half bath, two story home. It has a lot to offer, too many things to mention, but you'll see in the video how great this home is. It is approximately 4,150 square feet. It was built in 2001 and it sits on a huge five acre tract of land. I will do my best to give you an aerial view of the land, the size and the shape, but it's basically on a corner, big five acres. It's nice and wooded. There are a number of wildlife I've seen out here. There's some deer, there's some rabbit, there's some quail. You have a detached two-car garage here. The exterior of the home is mostly this nice slate stone and then also uh, some cement board, some hardy plank, and uh, it could stand to be painted. The whole home could stand to have a fresh coat of paint, but you can see it's a nice elevation. You've got these retaining bricks here. Uh, there's a little bit of wood rot around the fascia and the soffit, but that's all pretty minor. Really, it just needs the very minor cosmetic exterior touching up, maybe a fresh coat of paint, replace a few pieces of damaged wood. Uh, maybe consider power washing this exterior deck here. You can see there's a wildlife over the neighbor's yard. I'm not sure if you can see that over there, but that is not a deer. It has huge antlers. We'll come over to this nice front porch. Come around to the side. Looks like they had possibly a little water fountain here. There's a number of really nice large stones around the property that they used for landscaping. And I noticed a number of little paths so you can see the wildlife that just runs around through this little wooded area here. Now there is a lower unfinished basement in the home that I'll show you that has a lot of potential. A number of different, like I said, rock structures out here. Has a very nice two-car detached garage that we'll take a look at. Now this home is also eligible for HUD's $100 down payment incentive. So if you're interested in it and you were a little tight on your funds, you could potentially do the $100 down payment option. Now doing that, you would have to offer less than the list price, which we've known HUD to accept. And this home is actually about $83,000 underneath the county appraisal. So it's probably potentially going to go for more than the list price. But it is an option. You can offer less than the list price and potentially win it. So this, it's a little dark in here, but this is that high ceiling two-car garage. It's got power. It's a nice, nice feature. So that concludes a 360-degree tour of the outside. Let's take a look at the inside. Well, as we step into the home, we are in this little entryway here with a nice Texas landscape painting on the wall here. If we turn to the right, we come down this hallway. We have a couple of coat closets to the left. We have a very big laundry room. It has a nice ceramic tile floor. You could probably salvage that floor, but it has a nice washer and dryer section, a little sink. Continuing down the hallway into the right here, we have a bedroom number one right at the front of the home. This is a really good sized bedroom. This bedroom also has its own private bathroom, which is a single vanity and a shower only. It has one of those kind of insert plastic showers. Pretty nicely done though, ceramic tile on the floor. This bedroom probably needs a fresh coat of paint and some flooring. I think that bathroom's probably fine. We come over to the master bedroom. It's a decent sized master bedroom as well. Now one neat thing about the master bedroom is uh, its bathroom opens out onto that back patio. So the master bedroom is probably going to need a fresh coat of paint and some flooring. Pretty, pretty decent condition there. When we step into the master bathroom, dual vanities, lots of cabinetry. And I like that the closets here, they do have some built-in, so you've got some built-in cabinetry there. Let me see if I can get us some light in there. It's a little dark in these closets. So you've got some built-in cabinetry in the closet. 
walk over, we have the secondary closet here. Also has some built-in cabinetry. Then we have access into the bathroom, which is the, uh, or rather the, the water closet and shower combo here. We have a big jacuzzi tub and something pretty interesting. You don't see this very often, but a urinal in this bathroom. And I like this nice window here. You've got a lot, uh, a big picture window showing you the beautiful nature landscape. Then the bathroom from the master actually comes out into this big open patio. There are a number of ways to get into that open patio. We have access to it from the living room too. So when we come back up front from when we came in, we come down the hallway here. And then we come into your big living room. Fireplace, built-in bookshelves, lots of windows. These two doors that take you out to that little outside balcony. Now that door glass needs to be resealed, but you have your dining area here. Nice built-in sink, kind of like a little wet bar. Big open kitchen, big butcher block island in the middle, which I absolutely love. Nice sink, gas range, and then a huge walk-in pantry at this end. Really good size walk-in pantry. And then you have this door that takes you out to the side of the home. And that takes you into your garage. Now continuing back through the living room, if we turn to the right over here. We have these two doors and I'll show you where those take you in just a minute. But at the end of this hallway, we have a half bath, which is just a vanity and a commode. And then we have an office or study or media room. It's kind of a flex room. You can use it in any way you like, but it was probably a media room at one point. I do know, it does look like it's wired for a multimedia system. Now, if we come down this hallway and we take this door right to the left of the living room, we actually go up a staircase that takes us into the second level of this home. Now, unfortunately, the power is off right now. Otherwise, this would be illuminated. But when we get to the top of the staircase, you have very big living area. So a second upstairs living area. To the left here, we have bedroom number three. Bedroom number three, dual closets. Going to need a fresh coat of paint and some flooring. Let me come to the window here and try to give you a view of that beautiful elevated lot. Now we make our way through the upstairs living room. You have access into the attic there. It's kind of dark. Continuing down this hallway, some more coat closets on the left. And then we have a full bathroom here, which is a single vanity and a big shower and tub combo with the linen closet behind the door. More storage, more closets, more attic access here to the front of the home, and then bedroom number four at this end of the home with a big walk-in closet. Now we'll take a look at that very neat lower unfinished basement, which I think is fantastic. It has a game room, lots of square footage. Let's take a look at that. Well, we make our way down this staircase to the lower unfinished basement, which is very neat. This could be finished out, giving you additional bedrooms if you needed, additional storage. They may have used this for like a kitchen area. They've got a lot of racks, but this is a huge footprint. There's a little commode here. And then you have these double doors in this section here, this workspace, it can take you out to the backyard. This room here, as you can see, is framed up and it has a doorway that takes you out to the backyard. This section here is also framed up, ready for insulation and sheetrock that takes you out to the backyard. It has a tankless water heater, has a water softening system. Your HVAC unit is down here. And then at this end of the lower level is the big game room that has already been sheetrocked. And it is just ready for your pool table, your dartboard, your man cave, your bar, and this door takes you out to the backyard. Beautiful home, tons of potential. Let me give you a summary. There you have it, 101 Camino de Roble Drive. That's 101 Camino de Roble out in beautiful Wimberley, Texas, a big four bedroom, three and a half bath home, over 4,000 feet on five huge, beautiful acres. This home is about $83,000 underneath the county appraisal. It can qualify for the $100 down payment incentive, and it's listed right now for only $660,000. So if you're interested in this home or you have any questions, please call me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan, I am the HUD King, and I wanna help you find your castle.